Hi everyone, it's Renee with Delaney Jane Cards. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a card I created using some Birch Press Designs um, products. I'm going to go ahead and use this Butterfly Basic Set, the Starlight Butterfly Layering Set, the Birch Press Designs Lovely Butterflies. Oh, the sentiments on here are phenomenal. And then I am also going to use this Gears Embossing Folder and it is one of those deeply etched ones. It's so cool. And I used the color stacks that uh, Memory Box has, as well as this uh, foiled metallic cardstock kit here. Now, when I got this Butterfly Basic set, I cut all the pieces out of some scrap. I couldn't quite place what they all were. And then after I cut them out, it was way easier. Um, but a lot of the butterflies, our or our are the same shape as this um, whole full butterfly. So I pulled that out as well as the little body of the butterfly. And then I am going to cut it out of some pieces of cardstock from those two card packs that I shared with you, uh, including black for the top layer. And um, just going to get them all straightened out. I use Scotch repositionable tape. I can run that through my die cut machine, no problem, and everything stays lined up perfectly and it doesn't cause any issue. So this embossing folder is super deeply etched and I'm going to go ahead and use this on or with some of this foiled, I think it's called polished cardstock. It is so mirror finished. It's just beautiful. But it has kind of a, a layer on the top that, I mean, I seen possibilities when I did this. And um, so I, I embossed it and then I set it aside and I worked on the next step, which was grunging up these butterflies just a little bit. Well, not really grunge, but kind of adding a little bit of shading. Uh, I knew that these were going to be kind of up front and center and I didn't want them to look flat because I knew I had this fantastic idea for that background and I wanted to make sure that the butterfly was just as fantastic because let me tell you that background is is just oh you gotta try it you gotta try it i challenge you to give it a try so here i'm just uh ink blending on some different browns i have vintage photo rusty hinge and frayed burlap and depending on the layer of the butterfly i'm going to add in just inking up the edges just adding a little bit of extra dimension now I set that all aside to dry because those inks take a little bit to dry. And then I pulled out my alcohol inks. Alcohol inks. I have a brown and a uh, butterscotch kind of color. I think it's actually called butterscotch. Um, and I dropped a few of those on them. And then I used a little bit of the blending solution so that I knew it would move around. And remember, I said this was super deeply etched. So that alcohol ink will flow down into some of those crevices and become more concentrated than the wash that goes across the surface. This is so stinking cool. I want to add alcohol ink to everything now because I, I guess I've been playing with it a little bit lately, but normally i kind of i don't know it's just kind of outside of my wheelhouse so usually i don't i don't play with it too much um but while that dried and while the other parts of my project tried i pulled out the sentiments i wanted to use and i decided on three different sentiments from this stamp set i'm not using any of the butterflies just the stamp just the sentiments and i love that this is full of sentiments there are all sorts of them um, so I just stamped three of them, explore the possibilities, follow your dreams, and change is good. And I stamped them in black on white. And I'm going to go ahead and assemble my card. I used my ATG gun here to adhere my back panel, my background panel, to a piece of black cardstock. And I had trimmed it down so there's a nice little border around. And now I'm going to go ahead and put my butterfly together. And I'm using some multimedia matte uh, because if it does ooze out i didn't want it to be shiny the background is shiny enough i didn't want my butterfly to have like ooey gooey glue shine I, I will make it glimmer but it will shimmer not glimmer but i didn't want it to be glue i didn't want i didn't want my mistakes to be all highlighted so i used the matte adhesive which i mean 
let's face it, I am not the greatest at gluing. So it's kind of like my best friend when it comes to gluing things together sometimes. So here I'm just layering up all of the pieces and you can see how all of that extra shading that I did with that ink blending on the edge really comes through. Uh, it is so pretty. It adds so much color variation inside this butterfly. I love it. But like I said, if you are going to use these layered eyes, grab the butterfly, butterfly basics. There's so much to it, but that just having that background butterfly is like huge when it comes to a layering die. And, uh, it has the little like body of the butterfly in it too. So instead of just a decorative butterfly, you can make something that, you know, looks like it maybe could fly away. So here I'm just adding that third, fourth, what layer are we on? The top layer, <laughs> the top layer, which is this fine detailed black layer. You could use this by itself. I can see this done in any color, like um, a monochromatic, just cut a bunch of them out and make a background with it. Just this one, just piece them in like you would if you were, you know, stamping a background. I think it'd be so cool. It had some really super neat texture, but what it does to this butterfly is awesome. Look at how much dimension and just texture and design you get when you add that top layer is just so pretty. And then here I'm just adding the butterfly body and I'm gonna, you know, hope he stays on there and set him aside to dry. And then I'm going to move on with my project. And I decided to add foam tape to the back of all of the sentiments and I bent up the wings on this butterfly just a little bit so that the body would lay flat on the card and the wings would be popped up. But to get that dimension to stay that way, I added a small piece of foam tape to the ends of each of the wings. Just a little tiny bit. It's not really uh, structural. It's more like gives you that nudge that it's not it's not glued down flat. And then I'm going to go ahead and add <laughs> the same matte adhesive to the center of my butterfly on his body, because if I can get that to stick to the background and then have the foam tape on the ends, I am going to get just a little more dimension on this already very dimensional card with that background and the depth and dimension you get when you add the alcohol ink over top of that foiled cardstock. And now I have these little sentiment strips that all have a piece of foam on the back. It just creates this very cohesive, unique um, card and you, ha you have something to look at everywhere. It's just, I think it turned out good. I mean, I think it turned out probably better than good, but I, I like it. How about that? I like it. So I just adhered to these sentiment strips down in all of the places that I wanted them. And that one is a little crooked and I think I go back and fix it in a little bit. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and use this uh, Spectrum Noir pen and I am going to kind of fill in a little bit of the butterfly. Just that far back layer, that layer that we cut out from the butterfly basics. The, the cardstock that you see shining through from that, I did uh, add some shimmer to. Now here is where I seen that my sentiment was slightly crooked, so I took care of that. That is my card for today. I hope you stop by um, the Birch Press Designs blog and check it out. I also hope that you <laughs> pick up this butterfly die or the embossing folder or the paper or all of it. So here is a still shot of my card. I hope you enjoyed watching my video today. And as I always say, give cards generously. Bye.